Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and thanks to all of you guys that sent in links for your favorite websites. Um, I'm going to do a big series that will actually be focused on each website that could be of interest to somebody. So the first one, thanks to Charles Williams, um, we will be looking at this page, which is very nice. So this is... Um, this page actually aggregates information from other sites, including the uh, Radio Time Traveler website. So he does say that these maps are not my work. They are done by... But he kind of aggregated all of that. And it actually gives you the patterns for medium wave stations across North America. So this is kind of cool because the... Um, different stations on medium wave uh, AM also have different patterns, and these patterns will influence your capability of DXing them or not. And these patterns change because they want to avoid interference and so on. So you have three options here, day, night, and critical hours. So for example, if you start DXing at night, you can click the night button. Here you will be sent to the frequency page. So the frequency page, for example, I hear WCBS 880. I'm curious, what is the pattern of that station? And you'll also see the pattern of every station that that's on that frequency, by the way. You click, brings you a Google Maps that you can zoom in or out. Look at that tremendous pattern of New York here. Just crazy coverage, crazy coverage and all the 880 stations that you can see here with their patterns trying to, for example, here to move away from the WABC pattern. So you have your stations for uh, North America. You have those patterns for Canada, US, and uh, probably Mexico, including some here. Puerto Rico is a station on 880, so uh, tells you all the stations using that pattern. So it's really cool. Of course, you can zoom in and see, you know, a specific area on the map with the zooming. It is really, really cool. You can also, of course, let's say here I'm going to go to a day pattern and I want to see one of my medium wave stations here in Montreal. Let's, um, let's check the pattern for uh, 730 kilohertz, the uh, traffic station. So, of course, you have all the 730 kilohertz stations that are around the United States. And uh, anything else? Nope. I'm not sure Mexico's in there unless they don't have stations on 730. You see here Montreal. This is the 730 station with the pattern of Montreal. And the pattern, of course, is divided into where the signal is the most, the strongest, by the way. If you look at the map here, signal where's the strongest and then where the signal is weaker. So it's uh, theoretical ground wave information in RMS. So, um, and you have your millivolts. So, um, so I believe it's millivolts per meter, something like that. So it's the power of that station at that specific area. So for example, if I look at uh, 730 out of Montreal, well, I'm in the strongest part of the station which does have a very good coverage, by the way, on the strong part. But you also see that it has big coverage on a smaller scale here, from Kingston, Ontario, all the way to past Quebec City. Pretty amazing when you look at it. So this is really cool. Gives you details of all of this. And, of course, this gives you information about the different patterns, different stations around. So really nice uh, to have this page. I'll uh, link to this page that links to, first of all, you have day, night, and critical hours, but also it links to Radio Time Traveler website, which is another uh, blog spot site that you can go and visit. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching. Hope you'll enjoy these uh, coverage maps for medium wave stations in North America.